We're delighted to be able to welcome visitors back to Wadston and we've missed you. Those who know us well may be surprised to find our gardens are a little different at the moment. A tiny team of gardeners have been keeping things going during the last couple of months, so we are without our usual colourful bedding displays on the parterre and at the aviary. We're making a virtue out of necessity and trying different approaches to our gardening this year. We've left the spring wallflowers and tulips in place, but by cutting back mulching and sowing green manure, we're improving and supporting the soil. There's still lots to see. Those with sharp eyes will find some surprises in the long grass where we have been cultivating new wild flower areas. Look out for pyramidal bee and spotted orchids among the oxide daisies. And our Avery, which is Europe's smallest licensed zoo, is open again and full of exotic inhabitants. We're making visitor and staff safety our top priority, so we're capping numbers, requiring everyone to pre-book, and we aren't running the shuttle buses at the moment. We're also asking visitors to be aware of not overcrowding one another on some of our narrow footpaths and in the toilets. We'd love you to support us by buying homemade sandwiches, salads, cakes and ice creams from the treatery takeaway at the stables and wine and gifts from the manor shop. We're not yet allowed to open the woodland playground, the house, the wine cellars, our restaurants or the roses exhibition by Nick Knight in the stables. But we do hope that these restrictions will soon be relaxed. So please do check our website before you book.